Hello and welcome to another 130 Groundhoppers vlog. We're off to MK Dons versus Fleetwood today and I'm joined by Luke Lewis. Hello guys. For the first time. This a vlog episode. <laughs> yes. You may have seen him on other videos before. Oh, I'm sure you would have done. <laughs> Disgust. Mm. So Luke, what is your score prediction for today's First game? First of all, it's a good game, exciting game. Yes. Uh, I've been told that Fleetwood have a good team. Yes. And uh, Neem Kaidon's are... I haven't really saw much of them, so I can't really comment. But hopefully it'll be a good game, a few goals. Yeah. Let's go for a 2-2 draw, it's my prediction. 2-2 two -two draw and... Turn it over. <laughs> Mine is a 3-3 three, three draw because both teams can play good football. Yeah, that'd be alright. Yes. So we'll see you at the ground see in the a ground. in a it's little so while. while, yes. Directions to the Stadium MK. We're following them. What a lovely structure that is. KFC Arena. <laughs> we are in the Stadium MK now. What's your opinion of the stadium, Luke? Oh, I think it's beautiful, to be honest. It's better than some Premier League stadiums, the Hawthorns. <coughs> <coughs> so, um, oh, it's fantastic, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Loads of Fleetwood fans here so far. I think they've come on the same taxi. Today's attendance, it's MK Pig. Beautiful, probably. It's not, it's not in the middle, MK Pig. <laughs> What were you saying just then? It's not being at Wembley. It's yeah, like being at Wembley. Unbelievable. Memories. Not long till kick-off now, so we'll be... Starting to get full. Starting to get full. Well, starting to get full. <laughs> Look at all them Fleetwood fans. It's a shame, isn't it? A big time. I bet it's buzzing when it's... You ready for kickoff? Come on! Let's go! Kick off! <laughs> MK Army! <laughs> Set piece opportunity for Fleetwood. Start with the better. Goal or no goal, Luke? No goal. They've already hit the bar from an offside. <laughs> Here comes the corner. Ooh. Mm. Oh, here they come. What? Good start by the visitors here in the Stadium MK. <laughs> that means the MK Dons now fleet with now. Shout, come on Fleetwood. Go on Fleetwood. Another set piece opportunity here for Fleetwood. Oh no. Set piece for the MK here. Goal or 
Let's go. Go. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Opportunity for Fleetwood. Yeah, Luke. It's, it's all them at the moment. You know what I mean? Um, started strongly for sure. And another chance here, maybe. Yeah, not many chances at all so far. Yeah. 20, 30 minutes gone. 30 minutes gone. Very little to shout about. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 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 on the goal? It was coming, you know what I mean? It was coming, it's what are you on about? You know what I mean? That's the first shot on target. That's why it's, it's something that's bound to come. One nil, now nil nil. Luke Lewis, what was your thoughts on the first half? Um, honest opinion, Fleetwood started off the best. He hit the bar, which turned off turned out to be offside, which we didn't know. We made very many chances in the game um, at all and carried on very poor. Um, but somehow they've got the noses in front with a good strike, to be honest. The Chuck's an EK. Um, just before half time, and um, you know, hopefully, because the game's pretty dire, really. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, so hopefully improving in the second half. Because they've got to come out now, you know what I mean? In front of the, in front of the um, traveling followers. Yeah. So, Not many of them, are there? No. Anyway, we'll see you in the second half. <laughs> Set piece for Fleetwood coming up in the second half. Oh, he's going to have a shot. Oh dear. Another set piece for Fleetwood here. Ashley Hunters came on. Won the corner. About, tell us about um, what happened to them fans. Oh, there's five or six um, kids, are not there? Yeah. And they've been, well, I'm saying ejected from the stadium, but they haven't been ejected, they've just been moved because there was causing, there was hassling the away supporters. Yeah, they were. So, um, students have come and said, can you move, please? Oh, thank goodness for that. Here's another chance for Fleetwood. Oh, Oh no, he wasn't offside. What a chance. The attendance was 7,827. Luke, what are your thoughts on that? I'm amazed to be honest because I would have thought if we take the seven off, that's a pretty reflection of what I thought the attendance was. <laughs> so I thought it was 7,800. In the 30,000 plus stage, it doesn't look, it looks less than a quarter full. Mm. And there's only about two Fleetwood fans, they've all came on the same taxi. Yeah, they've been the loudest of, of the old stadium. Yeah, and look, they might have Hunter. something to shout about. No, they won't. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Five minutes of added time here at the Stadium MK. <laughs> Oh God! Set piece for Fleetwood in stoppage time. They really haven't threatened in the last ten minutes or so. So this would be a smash and grab if they can go and equalise here. Oh, see you, me. Absolutely dreadful. Time, 1-0 MK done. Well done to the Fleetwood fans who came here today. So full time here at Stadium MK, MK Dons won 1-0 through a go through, through Chucks and Nike. <laughs> Luke Lewis, Luke Lewis, what were your thoughts on the whole game? Um, I mean, let's just take a moment to have a look at the stage first, it was, oh, you know what I mean? I mean, you see pictures online and watch, you know, you watch a game on the TV, but until you're actually here, you know what I mean? It's it's a fantastic stadium. It's far too good for MK Dons mm. and the city of Milton Keynes. Um, you know, it's like Wembley when you go in there. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's anyway. Talk about the game. I thought Fleetwood started the better. Yeah. Hit the bar offside. We didn't know. Um, they didn't really do much, but they were the better team. MK Dons did nothing but somehow get the noses in front just before half time. It was a good strike to be honest. That was all they really did in the first half. Yeah. So it's one you, you know, you hope for better in the second half. And the was it did improve second half. Both teams I thought MK Dons probably edged it second half to be honest. Yeah. A lot of corners was having Fleetwood without really doing anything. And it, it just they just held it out really and it was comfortable I won't say comfortable, but you know, one nil, you know. Yeah. Win really. I don't think both teams are going to do anything this season in the in the leagues. No. Um, but you know, I don't think either of them are going to go down as well. So, yeah, you know, important win for MK Dons because keep conceding goals. I believe we've got the clean sheet. Mm. It's time to leave Stadium MK now. Next week we're going. Gone. What about your What about your fantastic offer today? Oh yeah, two milkshakes at at Tesco and um, well. Bletchley Tesco's two Yazoo milkshakes, 50p each, so two for a pound. Very impressive. Probably more than a pound for one. Yeah. I can, I can tell you, Daniel was totally buzzing about this like, all day. Yes. Yeah, but, I mean, he was absolutely. But Luke? Yes. We've been buzzing about something else as well. Right? Yes. And what have we been buzzing about? Oh, oh, I totally was in about the news last week that was announced that um, Stabridge Football Club are delighted to welcome back their main hero, Luke Bembo. I'm delighted he's come back on a short-term yes. home deal. He scored twice last week in his first home game, yeah. I think it was. And we are definitely going to go there to watch him play again. And who's on fire? Bembo! We'll, we'll see you at the Medeski Stadium next week. For, for some proper football. For Reading versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. See you then. See you later, thank you. Yeah, so Goodbye.